I think the most uh, important lesson we need to learn from it is the need for rule of law. We have said again and again, my party, the National League for Democracy, that rule of law is essential if we are to put an end to all conflict within the country. Everybody must have access to the protection of the law. And of course, they also have a duty to abide by the laws of the land. So without rule of law, such uh, communal strife will only continue. And this will have to be, the present situation will have to be handled with delicacy and sensitivity. And we need the cooperation of all peoples concerned to regain the peace that we want for our country. But I would like to mention here a very practical problem that uh, we have to resolve in the Rakhine state. I think uh, one of the greatest problems comes from the fear on both sides of the border, that is to say Bangladesh as well as Burma, uh, that uh, there will be illegal immigrants crossing all the time. And this is due to the uh, porous border. I think we need more responsible, uh, incorrupt, uncorrupt border vigilance. Quite frankly, none of us know what's in those contracts. This is what I mean by lack of transparency in the country. We don't know what was in the contracts that were signed. So it's very difficult for us to uh, agree or dis disagree with the terms. We still don't know what the terms of the contracts are. So we can't really comment on them. What I can comment on is that lack of transparency leads to uh, all kinds of suspicions that show up trouble for the future. My, we, as you probably know, we uh, won very well in the by-elections in April. And now what I'm having to say to our elected MPs is don't get above yourselves and don't get corrupted. Don't forget that you were elected because of the hopes of the people, not because you are that good or that clever. And your function is fulfill those hopes that you raised. And I would say to all parliamentarians, do not give the kind of uh, promises that you cannot keep and try to do better than what the people expect of you. With regard to Chevron and Total, I have to say that I find that Total is a responsible investor in the country, even though th there was a time when we did not think that they should be encouraging the military uh, regime by investing in Burma. They were sensitive to human rights and environmental issues. And now that we've come to a point in time when we would like investors who are sensitive to such issues, I certainly am not going to persuade uh, Total or Chevron to draw out. At the moment, uh, there do not, does, does not seem to be a program for a Truth and Reconciliation Committee. I've always said that what has happened in the past should be addressed in the way in which Archbishop Desmond Tutu says that such matters should be addressed, that we should look for restorative rather than retributive justice. And at this <coughs> moment, what I mo want most of all is reconciliation and not retribution. I ไอ้ลูกเนี่ยจมาเปียวกระดาษอ่ะปูปูเปียวบ่เนาะจมาโรยเอ่ออลูกตมารีอะตวยไอ้ลูกอ่ะวินเปียวลูกเปียวลูก